Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Well, Brittany just showed the sunshine in Salinas, and it literally made me smile. So I wanted to show a little more sunshine in Monterey. You can see that marine layer out in the distance, but looks like it's going to be sunny once again. And some of you may not be too happy about that because with the sunshine, it's going to come the early morning warmth, upper 50s right now, so pretty mild to start. But by the next couple of hours, these temperatures are going to start to climb once again very early compared to uh, what we typically see. So we are going to be seeing that heat earlier because of a lack of a wind. Also, you can see areas like Carmel Valley just showing that little bit of an east influence and anything from east to calm winds is what allows those temperatures to warm up quickly. Now, by later in the afternoon, that's going to shift from the west. So I've zoomed in here to really show you those arrows since they're so tiny because they are on the lighter side. But here you can see that starting to shift by later in the morning and pick up just a little bit. But this is when we're going to start to climb in areas areas uh, from Coralitos all the way down to Salinas. That's where we'll start to see that heat earlier in the day. Then by afternoon, we'll see that west influence and that's going to bring a little bit of relief to those coastal areas. Not going to bring much relief to the Salinas Valley though. You can see arrows trying to make their way there, but it's still going to be very hot with temperatures in the 90s to triple digits. Heat advisory across the region, you can see everywhere except the immediate coastline, and that's until Thursday, even though the peak days are really going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. Excessive heat warning in the Central Valley, as well as down south in the desert parts of California, Arizona, and South Nevada. Temperatures right now, 50s near the coast, 70s inland, so mild to warm to start in the Central Valley. We're seeing some warm temperatures here, but look at that triple digit heat likely 109 in Palm Springs today, tomorrow 110, and it's still going to be uh, hot inland, but you can see that cooling trend beginning already at the coast for tomorrow. I have to mention our drought conditions because compared to last year, look at this. There is barely any drought across the state, but this year, Northern California, including parts of the Central Coast, have some areas of concern because of the lack of rainfall. Yes, we got some late season May rain, as well as some April rain, but it wasn't like last year, and it really puts us in a scary situation going into the hot season, and today's going to be one of those days that it's hot. At least it's not going to be too breezy, but it's still gonna be dry. Look at those temperatures in the triple digit range once again, but near the coast, you can see a little bit of a cooling upper 70s possible around the Monterey Peninsula, but still going to be hot in some coastal spots for tonight. 50s to near 60 degrees, and you are going to notice that cooling beginning tomorrow near the coast and then definitely going to be cooler by the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. Cloud cover coming our way and it is going to bring those temperatures down about 20 degrees as we go into the upcoming weekend, which will feel quite nice.